Good morning, grade 11. Welcome to our fifth session. So our topic for this morning is about direct and reported speech. So at the end of this module, you will be able to A. Define direct speech and reported speech. Number two, identify the difference between direct and reported speech. C. Change a direct to a reported speech and vice versa when reporting to a friend, posting famous quotations, changing reported remarks to direct speech, and D. Familiarize the ro rules for changing direct speech to reported speech. So to identify direct and reported speech, have you tried to retell the message which your friend told you? Were all the ideas completely stated? If your answers are all yes, then you are a good listener. As a grade 7 student, it is very important to know how to transfer the message to another person. This module teaches you to that teaches you to you how to do it. You will be guided on how to apply the rules when you retell the message to another person. To start, let us discuss the first the difference between direct and reported speech. This lesson help you how to identify it. So you have you have here a short dialogue between teacher Grace and a student, student named Joe. Read it and find out what are those underlined words. So first, our classmate is sick and he is in hospital, John said. John said that their classmate was sick and he was in the hospital. Second, we visited our classmate in the hospital, John said. John said that they have visited their classmate in the hospital. So your knowledge of the tense of the verb will be very helpful, helpful in our topic, direct and reported speech. Before going further about it, let us for, know first what is direct speech as well as the reported speech. So are you now ready? So, you hear another short dialogue between teacher Grace and student named Joe. Read it and find out what they are talking. I take the garbage in the trash can, John said. John said that he took garbage in that he took the garbage. The next they took the garbage in the trash can. John said that he had taken the garbage. Okay, what positive value is reflected in the conversation between teacher Grace and John? Have you visited your friend, classmate, or anybody who was sick at home or in the hospital? It is really helpful to be caring to someone who is in need. And very helpful kind, caring, loving, or showing concern to our fellow men is a good value. Our ancestors or old family members have some values which we should preserve and apply, apply for us to become productive Filipinos. Now, let us analyze Jones and Teacher Grace conversations. So, how are the lines of Jones presented? How about teacher graces? Number three, what tense of the verb was used in the lines of June, teacher grace? Number four, which of the characters used direct speech or reported speech? So note that Jones' line are original lines. So now look closely at teacher grace line. The quotation marks and the comma were omitted or being or being disregard the word that was added the tense of the verb was changed and also the pronoun those lines are examples of 
reported speech. So what is a reported speech? It is a sentence that expresses the content of a statement without quoting just like what is done in direct speech. So examples. Jum said that their classmate was sick and he was in the hospital. Jum said that they had visited their classmate in the hospital. So you notice that the commas were, or the the commas and the quotation marks were omitted or disregarded. And you notice that there is a new word, the word that. So that, that, the word that was added, so the tense of the verb also changed. So in the direct speech, earlier that, in cha okay, changing direct speech to report, reported speech and vice versa. So in lesson 1, you have learned the difference between a direct speech and a reported speech. Now, you will learn how to change a direct speech to a reported speech and vice versa. Reported speech to direct speech. So here is the deeper explanation about it. So when changing direct speech to reported speech, the following should be observed. So number 1, the quotation mark and the comma are no longer used in the reported speech. So example, direct in a direct speech, grandmother teaches me how to cook, Sheila said. So the quotation mark and the comma are no longer used in reported speech. So Sheila said that her grandmother taught her how to cook. So the the verb teaches was replaced with taught and the uh, quotation marks are already omitted so the sheila said was placed before the quotation marks so the direct speech in this sentence is sheila said was was placed in the last the last line of the sentence. So in the in change in the reported speech, Sela said was placed in or before the quotation marks. The so number two follow the format of introductory words in the reported speech. The or the noun or pronoun plus what was said. So in the direct speech, grandmother teach me how to cook, Sheila said. And grandmother teach me how to cook, she said. So, the noun was replaced with the pronoun. So, the noun in this sentence is, is Shela. So, to replace the noun with pro pronoun, since Shela is a girl, so we replace it with she, the pronoun she. So, to transform this direct speech to a reported speech, so Sheila said that her grandmother taught her how to cook. So since we want to replace the noun Sheila with pronoun, so here we go. So she said that her grandmother taught her how to cook. So the noun Sheila was replaced with the pronoun she. Number three, the word that is used to introduce the reported, reported statement. Example, grandmother teach me how to cook, Sheila said. Sheila said that her grandmother taught her how to cook. So, after, after the, the noun, so we put the word that and following after the word that so we or after the word that we are going to 
We are going to put what is being said. The grandmother taught her how to cook. Number four, the verb form is changed in the direct speech to a reported speech. So present tense to past tense. Dad, teach me how to swim, Sheila said. The child knows the answer, Betty said. The fisherman catches fish, the boatman said. So in transforming the direct speech to reported speech, Dad, teach me how to swim, Sheila said. So Sheila said that her dad taught her how to swim. So the past tense of the verb teaches is taught. Betty said that... The child knew the answer. So the past tense of the verb know is new. The boatman said that the fisherman caught fish. So caught is the past form of the verb catch. Past tense to past perfect tense. So grandmother taught me how to cook. Sheila said. The child knew the answer. Betty said. The fisherman caught fish. The boatman said. So in change, changing this direct speech to a reported speech, so using the past tense to past perfect tense, Sheila said that her grandmother had taught her how to cook. So the past or the past perfect tense, remember the formula had plus past participle. So the past participle of the verb teach is taught. So that is why had plus past participles becomes had taught. BT said that the child had known the answer. So the had plus known or the past or the had plus known or the past participle of no is known. The boatman said that the fisherman had caught fish. So as I as I've said earlier that the past the past tense of the verb catch is caught. So, to 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 supply uh, to to follow this format, past tense to past perfect tense. So we we add had plus plus the past participle caught. So had caught is the past perfect tense of the in this sentence present or future modals to past modals so the modals are can may and will that is being being that are being used as example in this sentence so in a direct speech i can dance the girl said so the girl said that she could dance so, since can is the present or future, so to transform it to, into past modal, so can becomes could. So, the visitor may come in our school, the teacher said. So, the teacher said that the visitor might come in their school. So, the past form of the present or future modals of may is might. They will come clean the classroom, Peter said. Peter said that they would clean the room. So, the present or future will becomes would in the past modals. So, we refer to the table which shows present or future modals to past modals. So, this will be your guide in transforming modals from present or future to past modal so the the future or present modals are can may will and shall in transforming this into past modals so can becomes could may becomes might will becomes would shall become should so these are the examples of modals the four modals the number five is the pronoun also changes so in a in a direct speech our friend is sick and he stays at home jay said so in transforming it into a reported speech so there jay said that their classmate was sick and he stayed at home 
number the second example we visited a classmate in the hospital ben said ben said that they had visited their classmate in the hospital you can do this my classmate said my classmate said that he could do that so notice the pronouns are being changed so since our is the third the third personal pronoun so our becomes there we becomes they you becomes he or she when he when you are referring to a male and he or she when you're referring to a female or a girl so when changing the reported speech back to its direct speech follow the steps below Analyze the sentence first. Underline the thought of the sentence. Example, the class monitor said that the students were all present. So the underlined words is thought of this is the thought of the sentence. So the thought of the sentence in this example is the students were all present. So number two is capitalize the letter of the first word of the underlined word. Enclose quotation marks and put comma before <coughs> the close quotation example. So since the underlined word earlier in the first example is the students were all present, so enclose that in a quotation mark and put comma before the quotation mark. So the comma were put here after the word present number three change the verb past tense to present past perfect tense to past tense example the students were all present so to change in changing the verb into past tense to present the students are all present okay since we all know that where is the past form of the verb are so that is why we change the verb where to are to change also the model from the past to present or future model so the example the girl said that she could dance so the girl said that she can dance so remember the the models earlier that have shown you that the Future or present form of the modal could is can. Note replace the pronoun she with the pronoun I in the sentence. Example, the girl said that she could dance. So, replace the pronoun she so it becomes I. So, after doing all the steps, add noun or pronoun plus said, then put a period. So the students are all present, comma, and close. Example, the students are all present, the class monitor said. I can dance, the girl said. That's all for this morning. Thank you. If you have questions, you feel free to... Message me on my Facebook or you may contact me at my cell phone number 0955 Thank you and once again, good morning.